works. Yo, what's up, escapees? Hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's see if the here a little bit. You lost space up there. Okay. Um, yo, what's up, escape base? Good to see you. Let me uh, go ahead and set everything up. Dude, it's been a while. Alright. I'll go ahead and do the test really quick. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Um, yeah, I guess we're... Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds decent. Alright, I'm going to move you guys this way a little bit. Okay, let me do the testing again. Testing, testing. One, okay, two, three. Again. Yeah, I guess we are. I don't know. It just looks weird. <laughs> Maybe that's my own fault. All right. Anyways, welcome to the stream, Escapees. What is up? I'm going to go ahead. If you hear that echo, don't worry. I'm getting rid of it. I was just making sure my voice is synced up. Oh, bitrate looks good. Oh, yeah. Let's just test the video real quick. So if I'm playing the game looking at the screen, this is what I'm going to look like here, which, um, uh, I don't know if I like that too much. It's like, there's a little bit too much wall on either side. Go ahead and bring this lower. Just a little bit too. There. Cool. Alright, now let's see. I'm looking at the game. This is what I'm going to look like here. That's kind of cool. Not bad, you get to see more of my shirt, eh? That's good. Um, okay, what do I, I think, maybe let's go a little this way. Hey, this is the first stream in months, you guys, so <laughs> of course I'm going to be a little bit picky with the camera. I feel like there was too much wall right here. Uh-oh, getting a little buffering. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's nothing to do with anything. No, bitrate looks good. Well, we're at about 35. Um, oh yeah, let's get that, uh, let's get Streamlabs chatbot in here, and we'll go ahead and start the game. Also get Nightbot. Shh, I've forgotten what we're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, yes, log into Streamlabs here. Go ahead and click Twitch. Where is my little mouse? Found it. That way I don't have to, like, crane over strain over every time. Alright, there we go. Oh, let's get to the recent events right there. Looks good. I don't know if we're going to tweet, you guys. I don't really want to tweet because that'll take forever too. Plus, I'm only going to be on like about an hour or so uh, to check out the scoreboard and whatnot. Okay, um, so I don't think we'll tweet, but I do have a picture and you know Twitter has that new fleet thing that they do. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll post that to Instagram. Instagram story, Snapchat gets one too. Go ahead. And Twitter gets its tweet. And that'll count as our tweet, right? Good, good. Imagine sending the wrong one, <laughs> the wrong picture. Hey, so how are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. We're just getting started, escapees. Dude, it's been too long, you guys. It's been about a month since I've uh, jumped back on stream, so uh, I missed you guys. I had a lot going on between then. I'm also now fully, officially, fully vaccinated, so yay! I'm um, still wearing my mask just because, I don't know, I kind of got used to it. Kind of like looking sneaky <laughs> going into stores and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys have been good. And let's get the stream star officially in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Soul Stream. Today is my first day on the new uh, Fallout 76 scoreboard. I have been playing uh, Sims 4 recently, so I kind of just completely like switched from Fallout uh, back to Sims 4. So today will be my first day back on Fallout 76. I did finish that other scoreboard from last season, but uh, today will be my first day with this new season scoreboard. So let's see how it goes. All right, let's get the stream started. Lurkers, everyone out there, thank you for joining. I hope you guys are doing well. Got my cards. Oh, you know what I did forget? Oh, well, we can use this. Um, I forgot my props. I forgot my little flutes and gadgets and all that stuff. Oh, we got a person in chat. 
Yo, what's up, Peace? You were the first in the stream. Welcome to the stream. He says, what up, peeps of chat? What up, Peace? Good to see you. Hope you're well. But yeah, anybody else playing Fallout 76? What do you guys think of uh, this new season scoreboard? I have not looked at it yet. I've saved it for stream. I'm like, you know what? I've been having too much fun on Sims, so. All right, here's my new character, you guys. She's... Uh, the picture's of level 2, but uh, she's level 108 right there, top center. My char actual character, though, is Xeno the Wasteland, so let's go on in. I haven't played this in like a week or two, you guys. I haven't played Fallout 76 for about a week or two, so... Um, I don't know where we'll be. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to spawn at. I don't know if I'll be over-encumbered. I don't know. There might have been a reason that I stopped playing Fallout. I kind of just wanted to go back to a more chill game. And uh, I always felt that Sims 4 was kind of that super chill game. Hey, what's up, Rick? How are you doing? Second person in the chat. Good to see you. Hope you've been well. All right, let's see here. Oh, I must have been uh, looking around Fort Defiance, huh? Oh, uh, we'll stay here just because I haven't played in such a long time. Wait, what's going on? Oh, Feed the People is on. I do like Feed the People event. Let's see if anyone's there. No one's there! It's okay. Um, well, no one's at Fort Defiant, so let's go see. My favorite thing to do back when I was playing Fallout 76 was to try to find these asylum outfits. Oh, you see down there on the bottom left? I'm in the area, chat! If anybody is in Fallout 76 around me right now, in that same server, they can hear me talking. I'll fix that. Alright, let's go into settings. Um, I think it would be audio. And then we're going to go ahead and put none. Cool. That way, even if we're in a team or something, uh, they won't be able to hear us stream. Ooh, this Fort Defiance is still closed. Oh god, oh god. Can't see my bangs are too long running into walls over here. Alright, let's see this. Alright. Now, usually the asylum uniforms spawn on top of these uh, beds here. There's that one. Oops. Actually, I'll take this. Well, I'm able to run, so I'm not over encumbered. Yay! I was waiting was I was gonna start the game and be over encumbered. I'm like, oh god, no. <laughs> I know there might have been a reason that I stopped playing this. Alright, so no asylum uniforms in this Fort Defiance, sadly. I also don't really like staying in servers that have already had nukes dropped. You know, at least like one or so. Unless I see people in the uh, silos trying to drop another nuke. If not, then I kind of peace out and I go to the Look, we got Claymore. Claymore is a uh, vodka hangover in, uh, in chat if he comes in. And then Nexters is also Nexters in chat if he comes in. Alright, well, let's leave. <laughs> let's leave. Let's get out of here. Oops. Cool. Oh, we got some more people. Oh, I'm doing good, Peace. How about yourself? I've been having some medical issues and stuff going on, so I got an appointment tomorrow. I won't be live at this time, sadly. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not too bad. Eating some food? Nice, Rick. What are you eating? I've been, I've been alright. I had some medical stuff going on. Not COVID, not COVID shot related. Uh, just some other stuff that I haven't been uh, talking about lately. Hi, Noku. How are you doing? What's up, Devil's Hot House? How are you? Welcome to the stream. How are you guys? Happy, what's today? Monday? It is Monday, right? Happy Monday, escapees. Yes, because tomorrow's Tuesday. That's when I have my appointment. Uh, all right, let's see here. Yes. So I'm just server jumping, I think, to uh, see if we can check out Fort Defiance again. Not bad. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Says peace. Yo, what's up? Don't shoot. Where did I go? I've been here. Oh, thank you, Noku. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Doing chillin', just chillin', doing okay? That's good to hear. 
Aw, thanks for, yeah, Taco Bell. Oh, nice, I had some Jack in the Box yesterday. Nice, Devil Tuesday over there. Cool, cool, hope you're having a good Tuesday. All right, let's see here. Oh, shoot. Someone's actively dropping a nuke as we speak. I think it's this person. Well, let's go check out Fort Defiance and then we'll hit up that nuke zone. <laughs> Even though I haven't played in a while, dude. This battle's gonna be crazy. Yo, what's up, Steve? Thank you for the uh, hark now, what do I hear? Thank you for the sub. Woo! Thank you for ascending in the stream. Get some uh, resub love in the chat, everybody. Thanks, Steve, how are you been? First stream back escapees, we're barely like 10 minutes into it, so <laughs> I, don't, I still don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's see. Well, I do know what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> I'm looking for these asylum uniforms. Shh. If you were here on the last streams, you're like, oh yeah, that's what you usually do, soul. <laughs> True. Oh, thanks, Steve. Well, this is just my first stream back, I'm not sure. Ooh, white a uniform, yay. Clean one too. You don't want any of the dirty uniforms, they're not they're not worth anything. They're not worth beans. Like that one, not worth anything. But that other white clean one, get good fifty caps off of that. Alright, I'm gonna leave that there though. Okay, so I think the person's a nuke in this area. Um, let me just go check the other popular. The other popular area to nuke is up here. All right, let's go help them out. Cool, I haven't played Fallout 76 in a couple weeks, so it's like, oh God, this is gonna be my first battle. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. Well, first things first, let's make sure that I have the right cards. Yes. Gun. Over here we have heavy gunner perks. Yes. Okay, I got a few plasma cores and stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's this nuke going? Ooh! They might have nuked that area where I needed to, uh, get rid of the squatters. <laughs> cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright. Hey, that was my first battle in weeks here in this game, so I'd say it pre went pretty well, huh? Let's get this scorch piece down. Come on. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Had to shoot a little bit ahead of it. Alright, let's see. So there's one, two, there's a couple people showing up. I was worried it was just gonna be me and that guy. <laughs> that would suck, dude. This battle takes so long. But... Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, okay. I was about to turn around because I thought she went the other way. Well, this is our second server escape fees and we've already gotten into a Scorched Earth event here, so that's kind of exciting. I might still leave the server in a bit. You never know. Oh god, here she comes! Let me be! Oh god, oh god, I gotta reload! Woo! Alright, let's pop a couple of stim packs here. Oh. I don't know why she wants to attack me. Alright, there she goes. I'm going over this way. Is that that frog still alive? Get him. Oh, snap. Got that. Oh, sloth. Get a couple shots in over here. Hey, you get some fat experience. For those scorched sloth. Alright, I'm gonna hit another stim pack real quick. Nice and safe, escape these. Nice and safe. Perched over here all by ourselves. No. Oh, stop! There we go, there we go. 
<laughs> currently shooting her in the butt. I'm sure that feels real nice, right? <laughs> That's probably why she's always so mad. Scorch me sweet. She's like, this bitch always keeps shooting me in the butt. And I hate it. Oops. I was accidentally shooting somebody else there. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'm gonna throw a grenade just to be dramatic. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, get that dog! There we go. Come on, get that dog! Checking around for other stragglers, straggling enemies. Come on. Bloat flies. Oh gosh, dang it! I know, it's my bad. I had to move my hair too. Um, I have an explosive uh, plasma, so if any enemies get too close while I'm shooting, uh, that happens. <laughs> it's to death. All right, let's join the fight again. Here we go. Dude, it looks like a radiation storm's happening. It's turning everything all green all around us. Uh oh. Oh no! Go first. But yeah, that's the risk um, when you use explosive weapons. You get that splash back if you're too close. Oh nice! Yes! I'll help this guy. I got you. Oh my god, I'm right in the ass cheek. <laughs> oh. Yes, legendary crafting. Oh dude, a quad shotgun. Not bad. Sell that. Sell that to the black market somewhere. That would be real market. My vending machine, I guess, what I'm trying to say. A treasury note! Sick! I wish those would have stayed on my screen a little longer. I was trying to read that. I think it disappeared when I started shooting. Oh, wait, what's this up here? I want some free stuff. Oh hell yeah, I'll take that all. <laughs> I hope I didn't just rob someone. But then again, I don't really, you know. Somebody left their bag up there, what am I supposed to do? You could leave it alone for shh. Whoever said that, you quiet down. Quiet down back there. We don't need any naysayers in chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, sorry if I missed anything. Chat escapees. Let me see here. Well, let's get to Yeah, well, good to see you too, Steve. Thank you for the ascendancy. Thank you for subscribing. Um, yeah, just been at home, you guys. Just been playing, honestly, some Sims 4. I know, boring. Um, but I actually really enjoy it. I've started, I've started playing differently than I normally play uh, the Sims games. I've actually started playing um, other people, or other sims, I guess. Other sims from just different parts of the town. Instead of, you know, playing the ones that I create specifically, I've been playing um, sims that are already pre-created, which is really out of the ordinary for me. I always usually just play the ones that I make. But it got, excuse me, it got kind of boring because, uh, Sims 4, it'll, you know, it drops a whole bunch of these pre-created Sims in the world. But they don't, they're not like leveled up in their specific jobs. So you'll have all these Sims, but they don't have like, you know, good careers or anything going on. And so it gets kind of like, I don't know, cheesy or it doesn't feel real when those Sims don't have, you know, proper jobs. So I've started playing those pre-created Sims and actually like trying to get them promotions and seeing like, okay, this one will be like a rock star. Okay, this sim, you know, this one's gonna be an author, uh, write a whole bunch of books and stuff. <laughs> this one likes video games, this one could be... You can actually play as a live streamer in The Sims 4 and uh, go down that career path as well. So I have a couple gaming sims that uh, are able to live stream. I think it's called the eSports route, actually. Oh, oh my god! A little group of enemies all sneaking up over here. They thought they were all sneaky. I saw them all clustered. There's still a couple left right there. 
got one, and there's one more. There we go. Cool. Anyways, let me get my head back into this game. I haven't played this in a couple of weeks. Alright, I don't think I'm encumbered anymore. So now they've rolled out with the new season, they've also rolled out some different features here in Fallout 76, such as like legendary crafting. I've not legendary crafted any of my weapons yet, so I don't know. I don't think I'll do it with, uh, I won't craft with the, you know, really good weapon. I'll use some of my lesser weapons first, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> in other words, let's not practice on our good weapons, right? So, uh, legendary crafting is a new thing that came out, and oh yeah, the ending, the conclusion of the Brotherhood of Steel storyline, which I haven't even started. <laughs> I've not started any of the uh, storylines besides. In fact, we should probably try to get some of those done today, you guys. Um, I still have to choose between the damn ra raiders and the settlers. Almost call them the Rettlers. Um, yeah, but I haven't even finished their storyline, so. All right, well, let's get out of here. Um, I don't even know if I want to stay in this server. I was just kind of here because we jumped in while somebody was dropping a nuke. How many nukes have been dropped? According to the events, it's only been this one that we've seen so far. Um, I'll stick around. Let's see if there's any public teams. Get a couple of uh, experience, a little bit more experience. Oh, darn it. Team's full already. Dang it. Too slow. Um, I don't really want to do daily ops at the moment. I think we will leave the server escapees. Oh, wait. Hold your horse. Let's get some last minute experience points here real quick. If we can. Oh, this one's legendary one star. I'll get this one star weapon and I'll practice my crafting with it. everybody. Medic's gamma gun. Alright. <laughs> I'm not a medic character, so medic's any weapon. I'm just like, okay. Alright, let's go back home at least. Yo, what's up, zombie freak? How are you doing? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. King Atomo, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How are you guys? First stream in a long time. I've been okay. I've had some, uh, sadly, I've had some medical things going on recently. We've also went through a nice heat wave. I want to say, like, when was that? That was at least like three, three, two, three weeks ago. Yeah, dude, Washington State got up to 116 degrees Fahrenheit. I can't remember how many degrees Celsius that was, but it was like around 40 degrees Celsius. It was like really, really hot. Just, uh, just imagine, you know your body being on fire <laughs> while you sit there and, you know, do nothing. <laughs> That's what it was like. Hey you, must be my lucky day. What's up, Commander Daguerre? If they patched her ability to drop those special oh, galaxy, God. excuse me, the special legacy, I said galaxy. Um, if they've patched her ability to drop those special legacy weapons, I think I'm gonna switch her back out for Beckett. The only reason I was helping out Commander Daguerre was because I heard she was able to drop a certain type of uh, legendary weapon that's no longer available during a few of her fetch quests. So. We'll see. All right. Oh, somebody is in the silo. Oh, God. All right. I have to stay here. I know I was really, I was debating on leaving, but yes. All right. We're in a team, escapees. Finally. Wait a minute, what happened? I don't know why I'm not able to carry as much as I usually am able to carry. It's probably because, oh no. Thought you guys, chat tablet. Oh, I'll take some rain, Rick. I need some rain over here. I smell scrap. Oh, we've been having nothing but sunshine. 
and all the other type of weather that I do not enjoy. <laughs> Sun, heat. All right, currently eating a little bit of food. Looks like I have a lot of uncooked food, but we're back up. Cool. Uh, water. Drink some water. All right, you can see the team on the bottom left right there. You can't hear me or anything I'm saying. Thank goodness. Okay, well, since I'm going to stay here, I might as well turn on the radios and stuff, right? <laughs> hey. Um, oh yeah, I installed a hot tub over at my camp. Nice, huh, Woo, let's get naked. No. <laughs> yeah, let's get naked, everyone. Soul, my goodness. Alright, better harvest my own stuff. Well, I mean, we do have an OnlyFans shack, so. <laughs> um, okay, we'll drop that stuff over in the scrap box here. I still am a member of Fallout First. I have it for the whole year. I think until like next February or something. <laughs> Shh. Hey, I was really into this game. It's just recently I switched over to uh, Sims 4. Just because, uh, well, I had finished the scoreboard for 76 last season, so. Which reminds me, let's actually, well, let's go shopping first. And oil spill. Yeah, we can go over here. It's free fast travel, so why not? Oh, I bet your camp looks nice. Oh god, I feel you, zombie. We're still in like 96, 200 uh, degree weather. Yeah, Pacific Northwest over here. Yeah, there's a ton of changes to Tomos. This is my first day with the new season, so even I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there's like legendary crafting now. I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, I just don't want to mess up my current legendary weapons that I have. But yeah, there's a lot of changes now, even with this uh, you recent like new update. Use this guy's symptomatic so he can get me free, uh, here. Stable nuclear I hope you guys have been doing well. It's good to be back. It's good to see you guys on stream. Um, <laughs> I just got a glimpse of myself on camera. Don't want to look back there again. I have not been working out escape Escapee, so... No, I've been going through some medical things, sadly. Um, don't want to get into too much, too many details about it just yet. I do have an appointment scheduled for tomorrow, finally. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for that. But dude, it sucks. Um, especially, you know, when doctors are busy and stuff, trying to get those appointments on time. Been waiting a while. So now with the new update, they actually have new legendary effects that I haven't seen yet. For example, this Aristocrats, I've not seen that, uh, I've not seen that legendary modifier yet. Apparently the aristocrat is... Oh, damage increases as your caps increase. That's pretty cool. Replenish action points. I heard that the caps limit increased too. Actually, what is the caps limit right now? Because I'm pretty close to the old caps limit. I don't want to go too far. Caps limit. Well, it's 76. Hopefully, it is. Why? Okay, that's 2020. How about 2021? Hopefully, it's a little bit more than. Yes! Alright, it's 40,000 now, according to fallout.bethesda.net, so I believe them. <laughs> yeah, caps has been increased to 40,000 caps. Woo! Good! That means I don't have to worry about selling something. If that was a bloody handmaid, I would have bought it. I have a bloody character now, and she's uh, pretty good, but she doesn't have too many good weapons yet. I'm still working with like that junk that, <laughs> that I, you know how when you play Fallout 76, well, maybe not everybody, but sometimes you'll find these cool weapons, and you're like, oh, I don't have the character for it. So you save that weapon, uh, and then decide to make a character in that specific build later on and stuff. Well, I have that character right now. I've just given her all like my old hand-me-down weapons. <laughs> so she's got like a bunch of Dollar Tree hand-me-down weapons that aren't very good yet, but they are of the bloody, uh, they are of the bloody build type. So I just need to find better ones, good ones. Bloody explosive would be nice. Don't have any of those. 
I did also join the Fallout... I did join the Fallout, it's like a trading Reddit forum, and people just, you know, trade out their... You know what, I'm gonna buy these two cards here, at least they're not a thousand cups. I like to drop nukes, as long as- oh god, I hope they haven't patched the silo glitch where you can like just go through the door really easily. If they have, then I shouldn't have bought those cards. <laughs> oh. I just can't shake these nightmares. Okay, Alright, we're just doing a little shopping. Person had some cool stuff. Ugh. Okay, so somebody's supposed to be... Yes, like, right next to them. There they are. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rick. What's up, Senox? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's only a one by one building. That's okay. You know what? My other character, her house or her area started as like a, what her camp started as a one by one building too. And I just built on top of that. What's up, Shake Wellen? Hi, Groglim. How are you doing? Yeah, caps are 40,000. Woo! Script is up to 5,000. Whoa! Oh, thank God, dude. 300 a day, that is nice. Instead of uh, that usual 150 script. Script is 5,000 now? That's crazy. This is my first day on the new season, new scoreboard and all that. I'm just doing some shopping right now. Somebody's supposed to be dropping a nuke soon, so I'm just kind of waiting for that. <laughs> we were, before that, we were just like server hopping. Bloody assault rifle. Not bad, but I do have one for my other character. But yeah, it just blows my mind how many people have legacy weapons. I'm like, where do people get all these? <laughs> like in that trading Reddit uh, forum, they're like trading legacies left and right. I'm like, dude, I was lucky enough, thanks to Kami God, uh, to get, you know, one legacy. And then the other one was just some random person dropping it for Quibi Room. Then Quibi Room gave it to me because he was going to sell it. And I was like, no, don't sell that. And that's how I got my two legacies. But I'm like, man, how do people get like 15 or 16 of them? That's crazy. Let's see here. Oh wait, I kind of just skimmed through real quick. Ooh, see that bottom star right there? 5% chance to deal 100 energy damage to melee attackers. That's a new uh, legendary effect. Receive 7% less explosion damage. That's also a new legendary effect. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. Nice, the Brotherhood pack. You're like, neat. <laughs> cool. Hi, Natasha, how are you doing? Oh, there's Cammy. Thank you, Cammy God. What's up? Uh, more than enough junk to upgrade, but I've been too focused on exploring. I feel you, zombie. That's how I've been too. That's kind of how I feel with like the uh, vaults and stuff. Um, I'll be honest, I like camps better. I could really care less about my own personal vault. I have not decorated any vaults at all. I do have a vault door in one of my camps. But since I feel like not too many people, unless you have your vault like right there, front and center, not too many people, you know, go and explore and stuff. So I haven't decorated any of my vaults. <laughs> they are, I've seen some really, really badass ones though. And I, there are really, really cool vaults out there. It's just, I haven't gotten into the vault um, decorating part. More into camp building. I wish we got a third camp instead. That'd be nice. Have a good night, Rick. Thank you for being here. Thanks for stopping by for a bit. Have a good day. Well, it's good to see you guys. I have not streamed in about a month, I would say, so uh, my apologies, you know, if I'm not doing it right. <laughs> or if I'm like skipping on a uh, reading chat for a while and stuff, I'm like, oh crap. Okay, let's see here. Alright, we got uh, those two people's camps. 
that other person still dropping that nuke? I think they are, okay. Hopefully they drop it at Earl Williams. That would be nice. Okay, so as for us, let's go ahead and actually, well, there's one guy that we could shop at, right? One last teammate. Fine, we'll go look at our last teammate's camp over here. Um, and then we'll start off with our scoreboard stuff. So this is my first day on the new scoreboard. I know the new season's been out for uh, since the seventh, I think, right? And, uh, you know, I've just been playing different games since then. So this will be my first day on the scoreboard. So I'll be starting off at like level one. Right now I think I'm level zero. I'm pretty sure since I haven't done anything for it yet. Where's this person's store? Could be back here somewhere. Free water? Yes, free water. Hello? Hello, I'm looking for the store. And <laughs> they got some clocks over here and stuff. Nice. Oh, here's the store. Thank goodness. I was worried I'd have to look all around a second time. Got a couple combat rifles. Junkie Gauss rifle, not too bad. All right, nothing that I would buy at the moment. Oh yeah, now you can add legendary effects to power armors too, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That is useful because the only reason I didn't use power armor is because my other regular armor has all those legendary effects that reduce the weights of like chems, food, weapons, ammunition, all that stuff. So when I would put regular armor on, dude, I was always over encumbered. Oh, radiation rumble, woo! We gotta do that. We'll be over there in a minute. Oh, nice bulk of lead, 40 caps, hell yeah. Here's glass, any of that stuff, fertilizer. Okay. Cool. Well, good, I'm glad we gone shopping over there. All right, let's just make sure nobody really, hopefully nobody starts up radiation rumble without us. That would be sad. All right, let's check the scoreboard here. All right, you peace, have some good food. Oh, nice. Maybe level five or six. That's pretty good, uh, zombie. So let's check this out. I have not seen it, actually. I've not looked at the scoreboard yet. The Guild of Antiques accidentally ventures beyond any year ever visited to you. A world beyond imagination. Start the escape here. Katie Inkle's escape. High package. What's the first cool thing? Ooh, fortune teller machine. Mmm, fancy. Then we got a flare for the backpacks. Legendary modules, which I uh, have read are for crafting. Ooh, charmer hat is kind of cool. Green skull. What's that, an image? One of those picture player icon things. Bird cage, fancy. Then fight for unity, join the mind. Escape from the 42nd century. So far in the future. Open and close sign, nice. Ooh, new power armor display frame. That's pretty cool, I haven't seen too many of those. Too many different power armor displays, I should say. Brotherhood of Steel kit, nice. Is that what somebody in chat was talking about earlier? If so, that's badass. Mind paint. Some mind power armor paint. What's this first gun skin here? Blood Eagle paint. Dude, Blood Eagles always have like a, some type of unlocks that are in the scoreboards. Every scoreboard has Blood Eagle something or other. It's always just red skin. <laughs> just a red skin of an item. Stairs with posts? We already have stairs with posts. 
just because they're giving us like silver bronze and gold or something. Oh, come on. Let me see this nonsense. Oh, okay. They look a little different. Fine, fine. Oh, okay, we get wood stairs with posts. Fine. I'd, well, it just showed this picture. I'm like, that's nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, the bottom is wood. Sorry. Maybe I need to adjust my glasses. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Ooh, a floor. Hey, what's up, Sheehan? How are you doing? I've been okay just dealing with some medical things. We went through a heat wave up here. Pacific Northwest. Haven't been working out. <laughs> I started like spilling all the depression stuff now. But uh, no, things are okay though. Not too bad. How about yourself? Hope everything's been well. Had a good 4th of July. Uh, went to the fairgrounds, saw the fireworks. Oh, had some deep fried Snickers. Oh, they're so good. Uh, didn't have any deep fried Twinkies because they weren't offering them. I know. Somebody's told me I should have had one of those. Um, this is not bad. I do use a Gatling plasma, so eventually probably unlock that. I did finish the last season scoreboard. I do have that full power armor or helmet or whatever it was that we got. A sword? It can be applied to most one-handed blade weapons. Okay, so like the officer's sword. Interesting, very interesting. Nice, crawfish. Ooh, how was it? Did it taste pretty good? That sounds pretty neat. I actually had some uh, salmon last night myself. Barbecued it on the grill. <laughs> so it wasn't, you know, the fanciest or anything, but it was pretty good. I like fish. Uh, my mom sadly doesn't know. Oh, but that just means more for me. Oh, I love this poster back here. Nuka girl, but with the dolphin face, though. <laughs> I have the poster up here, but I have a real Nuka girl. She doesn't have the dolphin face. All right, so eventually we get the backpack. Wow, that's... What rank is this? Oh, it doesn't say what rank it is, but it's close to, like, 90-something. Another power armor station. Ooh, I kind of like this helmet. It's sick. Helmet. All right, and at the very end, we'll get the escape bundle. Ooh, the soul escape bundle. Um, you get the power armor, you get this lovely map, you get some atoms to buy stuff at the store. Oh, don't tell me the thing has a dolphin face, does it? That's hilarious, it does. I didn't realize that that snout comes out, you know. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well. It looks like this is the, uh, yeah, now that I look at the background picture, I guess they are underground or underwater, it kind of looks like. See, these guys all have snouts. Like dolphins, kind of. Oh, attack of the dolphin people. Oh no. You missed it. I want to take some crawfish. I don't think I've had crawfish before. I'd be down. So anybody else playing Fallout 76? How far are you guys on the scoreboard? Zombie Freak says uh, they're maybe about level 5 or 6. Let's see where that's at. I'm on level zero, so <laughs> everybody's ahead of me. Woo! That'd be one, two, three, four, five. Nice. So Zombie already has their fortune teller machine. I need some more of those uh, lunch boxes. Some of them give you some nice uh, experience. Oh, I feel you, Sheehan. Hey, no worries. I'm actually, um, this is my first day back on Fallout 76 myself. I've been playing a lot of Sims. <laughs> A lot of Sims 4, and I'll be honest, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's boring. But um, for me, it's just a very, very like easy game. I've started playing the other pre-made Sims that I haven't created myself. Uh, just to give that Sim world like some liveliness and stuff. Because if you don't play those other characters, sadly, uh, a lot of the times they won't have jobs. And they'll, you know, you'll ask them, hey, what's your career? And they're like, oh, I'm unemployed. And you're like, god dang, every Sim in this place is unemployed. <laughs> After a while, I didn't feel, 
you know, very authentic, so I had to start playing some of those other pre-made sims and give them actual jobs and stuff. Oh no, I forgot about Radiation Rumble. That's what I get for chatting. Damn it, I was supposed to go to Radiation Rumble and get some fat experience. No, I missed it. Oh, that feeling when you miss out Radiation Rumble. If you don't play this game, uh, what that means is that I just missed out on a bunch of experience. Darn it. That's my own fault, though. <laughs> See, I haven't streamed in a while, so I'm kind of excited getting back into it. Um, I won't be here at this time. I have a doctor's appointment, finally, that I've been waiting um, at least a week and a half for. Um, but I'm hoping to get some answers. Yay, that would be nice. All right, are these peeps still trying to drop this nuke? I think they are. OK. Well, let's see what we can do for the scoreboard. Uh, I'm sorry, my bad. The challenges. Oh, well, we've already got a couple points. We completed an event, which was that Scorched Earth where somebody dropped that nuke just a couple minutes ago. And we've killed the legendary enemy. Nice. So the only things we have left to do today are complete daily operation. Uh, that second one is to do at least three more of those other challenges right there, which is kill a cultist, level up. In nuclear winter, which they're going to get rid of pretty soon, we got to go use a stim pack, two of them. I have to visit another player's shelter. Ugh. Shelters are those vault things that I was talking about that I don't really use myself, but... Ugh. All right, let's see if... Does anybody have a... Sh does anyone have a shelter? Let's see if any of our teammates... If they do, it would be a little red. Okay, these guys both do. You see that little red radiation symbol? Let me scoot it over a bit. Right there, they have the green circle with the V. That's their vendor, which indicates that they sell items. And right next to it on the right, they have a red radiation symbol. That means they have a shelter. So As you can see on mine, I do not have a shelter. Nope. All right, so let's get to one of these guys' camps. And we'll visit their shelter, we'll get an easy 250 points, I think. Not too bad. Nice. Hey, well, I hope that was some good pasta. Woo. I just can't shake these nights. What did I have earlier? Oh, I just had cereal today. I know, I was like, I want to stream today, so... Uh, I didn't have time to make anything super special. Okay. So we're looking for a door or a hole in the floor. Some way to get into this guy's special. Always nice to have visitors around. Well, there's another staircase up there. Let's see. All oh, looks stuff. Ooh. Don't need any of that though. Well, there's the owner of the camp. Still don't see any shelters though. Let's see, maybe their shelter, their vault is outside. So Don't see it. Any free water? <laughs> no free water either. Darn it. All right, I have no idea where this person's vault or shelter is. So I didn't see it anywhere. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Right here, you guys. Sweet. All right, as soon as you go in here, we should be able to get those scoreboard points. There you go. Yay, scoreboard points. Woo! We're almost to the first uh, reward. Cool, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at it. Hey, it said visit. It didn't say linger. It didn't say check around. It didn't say thumbs up or anything in there. It just said to visit. We visited. Okay, cool. Now we can get out of here. Uh, next, well, first, next thing to do is leveling up will happen, I guess, naturally. Let's go find some cultists to kill. So cultists are those like Mothman worshippers and you can kind of find them around the map in different areas, either 
around these type of areas or oops sorry i was trying to pan around the map like you do on sims with the b button um yeah kind of around these areas i think will be where we'll find cultists they'll either be cultists or raiders that pop up so <laughs> gonna lock right all right let's go hit up the vantage and see what we find there Probably find some raiders though. <laughs> With my luck, I know. With my luck, I will sadly probably find some raiders. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. You and I. Thank you for hanging out, you guys. I hope everyone's been doing well. Uh, it is good to go back to into streaming and stuff. I haven't done it. Gosh, the last time I checked. It said that the last stream was in like 21 days, or it was 21 days ago, and that in itself was a few days ago, so I'm sure it's probably been about a month or so since I streamed. Oh, what drama is going on here? Oh no, I think I see a, an Assaultron crawling around. Oh no, are you okay? Maintain situational awareness. The grounds are not secure. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, they started making noise. I didn't want them to blow up in front of me. Like, oh god, no. That would be awful. I've seen these robots get messed up before. Um, it looks like I'm, mess I'm missing a weapon on my weapon wheel. Which one was it? There we go. Gatling plasma, baseball belt. My death tambo. I actually don't remember what weapon I had there, to be honest. Was it my quad? No, I don't think it was a quad rifle. Wonder where I got that quad rifle from, though. Hmm. Gotta get rid of some of these weapons that I'm not using. I know, I haven't played in a while, so I'm kind of like, uh-oh. <laughs> what inventory did I have before? All right. Well, right now we're just hunting around looking for cultists. That is one of the enemies that we got to take out today. So I'm curious to see if we can find some. Oh, I found some ghouls. Oh, a three-star ghoul. Oh, you come here. Are you dead? Don't know if that was his body flying right there. Oh god, oh god. I'll just have to try to remember as best as I can <laughs> where all those bodies landed, huh? Alright. Now, where was that legendary ghoul? Oh man, I know. Sometimes the bodies disappear too, which is sad. Come on. Nope, that's nothing. Well, hopefully, maybe his body stayed over here. Come on. No, I don't think we're gonna find it, you guys. Oh, losing out on a three-star, potentially three-star item there. Oh, here we go, we got it. Ah, and it was a one-star item. <laughs> No need to worry. No need to have cried over that loss. It was a worthless weapon. Oh, rest in peace, settler. Random settler. Alright, looks like whoever was dropping the nukes finally decided to drop it. Now where? Oh, yes! Alright, sweet. We're gonna do uh, the Minoga Mine event here. Which means we're gonna fight good old Earl Williams. I'm down for that. Attention, citizens. I just gotta fly home real quick. Imminent. Gotta get prepared to escape. These have to make a little bit more ammunition depending on how many uh, people show up for this battle. Sometimes a lot of people show up, sometimes nobody does. <laughs> I know, Cammy. I like Earl Williams. I know a lot of people don't like Earl Williams. And it's not even that. It's the fact that um, I guess you get better 
drops and better items from the Scorched Earth event, which will still pop up too. Scorched Earth is going to pop up. In fact, I don't know if more people will be over here or if they'll come up to Earl. But, um, yeah, you get better items and stuff from the Scorched Earth event. Okay. Good to see you again. So I know why a lot of people, you know, do that one instead. But I personally like Earl Williams better. I don't know, it's just a... It's a fun battle in my opinion. Well that, and then you do get a lot of experience if you uh, take a little bit of time to kill those Wendigos, which I do. <laughs> Sometimes I'm fighting Earl and then I'll be like, okay, let these other people take over for a bit. And then I'll go ahead and, you know, slay a couple Wendigos over here on the side. All right. Let's get rid of that lead. Bought that. Um, yes, and then, hey, who closed my windows? There they are. <laughs> uh, through hiker. Let's drop that for a second. Gonna need ammo smith. There we go. And then super duper. Oh, wrong one. Uh, we'll pop off the class freak for super duper a little bit. And then let's craft. Uh, we'll make a couple of ultrasite plasma rounds. Plasma cores, I should say. Alright, I'll do two. And I'm not sure if I need... Oh, I think we'll be good with that. Okay. I don't think the new kids dropped, has it? Right, these guys are waiting right there. <laughs> um, okay, so let's switch our cards back really quick. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, okay. And I will re equip through Hiker. Sorry about that, guys. I had a cough real quick. Dev, I had three hiker level three. All right, and super duper will be class. All right, better get over there because All right, if you don't go quickly enough, um, I think only I can't remember exactly what the number is, but I think it's like nine people. Only nine people per uh, colossal problem event, if I'm not mistaken. And then they open up another instance of it. Oh, maybe Scorched Earth didn't happen at all. Interesting. Oh, I hope I'm not in that other instance by myself. That's gonna suck. Oh man, well I'll go down there. We shall see! Oh, I thought I killed him. Oh. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me for a bit. Any more? Oh, yes, there is. Darn it, I'm the only person here. That's gonna suck. Well, I mean. I don't think I could do Earl Williams all by myself. I could! If we had at least one or two other people, I would make a run for it. You know, I'd try, but I don't know. Maybe I should travel again. I could try to travel again, see if I could get in that other instance. All right, let's join. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully I didn't ruin anything. There's people here. Um, yeah, I, 
because I have a hard time believing that everybody joined all at once. Give me two players. <laughs> oh man, it's just me. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one, you guys. Not by myself. Alright, we just need a couple more peeps to show up magically. Yeah, me and these other people, they it shows up, or it shows them as being here, but we're in like two separate instances of the same area, if that makes sense. Darn it. What if everybody's in their separate instance? <laughs> um. Yeah, I tried to fast travel again, but I don't know. Got a couple minutes. <laughs> I don't see any arrows of peeps down there. Quick, I'm gonna put some power armor on real quick. Oh, armor. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh no, I finally had to rename my armor. Supposedly we got a minute left, so let's see if we can uh, rejoin, hopefully. There's only five people on the other side, so we shall see. Hello? The bone miners. Okay, we're going back in. Fingers crossed. If not, then um, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. I might just fast travel out or something. I only got 40 seconds anyways. But I don't think anyone's down here. Darn, nobody's down here. It's just me. I could make a dent in Earl, but I don't think I'd be able to take him out by myself. No, that would take all of my ammo. And it ironed all of my stim packs too. Well, might as well. I mean, we're here already, right? <laughs> it's gonna be like the whole 30 minutes. No, I probably shouldn't ba battle him, huh? Well, there he is, you guys. No, I don't want to get stuck down here. Not really stuck, but it's just, uh... Gosh, I'll use all my ammunition and it'll take the full 30 minutes and we still might not even be able to beat him, so... I'd rather not do the... the uh, event. I also have to get out of power armor if I want to fast travel. Get out of here. Alright. Hello, streaming. Alright, let's see. What do we have over here? Free range. Alright, let's fat travel back home. Back home, you guys. Oh, no uh, Minoga Mine event for me. Oh, sadness. That's okay, though. I got excited for it. You know what? I'll go drop my own Minoga mine. No. All right, let's get out of here, escapees. Well, that's the only thing I was waiting for pretty much was the uh, drop, but we weren't able to get into the right instance, so. Oops, sorry, team. I <laughs> left the team. Uh, meant to leave the whole world. All right, there we are. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll find another server here. Oh, you know what? I haven't checked any of the uh, private servers for the uniforms. We're just doing a little bit of the uh, asylum uniform collecting, too. Just a bit. That's one of my favorite screenshots right there. Uh, over at Charleston Capital, if I'm not mistaken. 
Alright. See if anybody's dropped here. How did these people get here so quickly? Right here? Unless they were just, you know, randomly traveling. I don't know. We got there pretty quickly though. Alright, I'm gonna fly over to Fort Defiance and just go ahead and check to see if they have any uh, extra asylum uniforms. Out of my way, scorched. Oh, is there an actual, um... Yeah, there is. I hear a scorched beast flying around, too. It's like, oh no, is there an actual scorched beast flying? So, how have you guys been doing? Welcome to the stream. If you're new, my name is Soul Escape. Thank you for joining. I haven't streamed in, gosh, like a month, I would say. So, it's good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. We're just playing a little Fallout 76. Um, I actually haven't been playing Fallout 76 either. Not for about a week or so. Um, I just switched out to Sims 4. Sims 4 was also having like a summer event too, which is actually the thing that got me back into Sims 4. Um, I wanted, it was a limited time thing, so... Um, it was also until the 7th, which was the new scoreboard. From a certain day in July until the 7th, excuse me, a certain day in June, until the 7th of July, Sims was doing a summer special uh, where they had these cool Sims come out um, over at Willow Creek, which is an area inside the game. And they would do like these cool performances, these Sim songs, or I guess Simolean versions of their real songs. So it was BB Rexa, some dude in a band known as Glass Animals, and then another lady, I can't remember her name, uh, but she was pretty cool too. And so they were having like the Sims concert inside the game for a limited time only. And so that's kind of what got me back into Sims 4. Plus I had already finished the scoreboard here in Fallout 76, so I wasn't too worried about that. Ooh, that person going in? Who knows? Join that team for a little bit. Yo, what's up, Justin? Oh, thank you, Shan. Have I encountered the bug where I got stuck, where you get stuck at the crafting station? Probably before. <laughs> uh, I have been stuck at crafting stations, not for a while, but like way, way back when I was on the regular Xbox One. Um, I remember getting stuck at crafting stations or stuck in the crafting position while you're moving around. Like, your character doesn't make the walking action. She's just, like, frozen like that. Gliding. <laughs> I've seen that happen before, too. Alright, let's see here. So what else did I have to do for these challenges? I kind of want to drop a nuke myself, though. Just because I haven't done it in such a long time. Oh, it's so the new one? No, then I have not, have not experienced that yet. No, this is my first day on the new season. You know what? I'm going to fast travel to this person's camp. And then hopefully turn in that easy quest right here. Super easy quest. Have you gotten stuck at the crafting station yet, Justin? Alright, let's see. Where's that person's camp? Oh, they just set up on the side of the road. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, I've done that before. Real quick, we'll see what they got for sale. Ooh, level 15 weapon. I'll take these disease cures. It's a great price for them. Bulk steel for 30, ooh! All right, does this person have a stash? They don't. Or I mean, a uh, scrap box, my bad. All right, that's fine, no worries, no worries. Let me go unload some honey on this lovely robot over here. There it is. Welcome back, friend. 
those sweet water. It's been quite a while. I'm short of honey. And you oh, that's terrible. Thank you for letting past. me know how to get out of it, though. Just fast traveling. Nice. Yes, I can. Um, let's get you Excellent. that honey. The forest, I think I, I have enough on me just regularly, but it. we'll see. Best start cracking. Right. Oh, gracious, you're back already. How wonderful. <laughs> He's like, where'd you get this honey? It's all old. This honey will old be rancid honey. Special blend. Please do return to brew up more if you enjoy the surprisingly subtle flavors. Alright, we'll be back. Oh, I was like, wow, 400 caps for that? <laughs> no, uh, somebody bought my item over at the camp. They bought some serums. I do officially, with this character at least, Xena of Appalachia, um, I have all of the serum recipes unlocked. If you guys need any serum help, and you got like at least 300 caps, let me know. I'll make you a serum. Or, I mean, you know, if you want all the serums. <laughs> I, you know, I'd be willing to trade you know some nice weapons. Or, I mean, trade for some nice weapons, I should say. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. When Hello, settler. What did you say, ma'am? Just don't feel right without my medicine. Oh, no, you guys, a chem head. feel unstoppable. But when I'm out... I'm only a shadow of who I can be. <laughs> you need to get tweaked. You need to get angry. You give her some psycho. Daddy's here to make you feel all right. <laughs> it sounds creepy coming from me, a woman. Uh, maybe a good brain boost will do the trick. Some mentats. You need help, but not the kind I could give you. Um, I'm going to be a little naughty today. I'm going to give her a little psycho. You need to get angry. Perfect. That's the good stuff. Thank you. Here. You can have these. I won't be needing them now. Alright. Oh, nice. I got a little reputation for that. Oh, she gave me an addictal? Sweet. I'm not a junkie character, so I'm good with that. Okay. Uh, what was I coming down here for? I know I'm over-encumbered, sadly. Oh, yeah, radiation fever. Or, excuse me. Uh, uranium fever is going on. Let's see, how could I make enough room? Let's see if we can break anything down. Or also, true, there's a couple of legendary weapons that I gotta get rid of. Beep beep. Alright. Nope, that one's mine. This one, I don't want. Exterminator's Pitchfork. I don't think we need that. I think I kind of wanted to try to sell that Cultist Dagger. No, I don't think we need this. Yeah, I remember getting that. I don't think we want this. This one's mine, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, I use that sometimes. Now this is a new weapon that we got recently. I think I might try to sell this one. That's not bad at all. Quad shotgun. In fact, I might keep that for myself. Stalker's boxing glove. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to be needing that. Vampire board, I think I wanted to try to sell. <laughs> you think anyone wants a vampire missile launcher? Maybe, huh? I don't know, I'll keep it for a bit. Alright, get rid of that. Oh, that was a power armor! Oh well. That's cool, so now power armor drops too. I thought we had to like specifically craft our own power armor. Nice to know that pieces drop. Interesting too. I'm gonna end up with like a really patchy looking 
<laughs> power armor suit. Um, I don't think I want this. Um, I'll keep the trapper right leg. How about this here? Oh yeah, I'll keep that. At least to sell. Cool. Alright, a few of these I will go ahead and just leave in my box for a little bit. Oh, okay, see, I do have some crappy weapons that I can break down. That's what I was thinking. There we go, we can break this and that. Break that down too. Nice, okay. Now all I gotta do is pop a few drugs myself. <laughs> I was love making fun of that settler for being a chem head. Surprise, surprise, my character's a chem head too. <laughs> no, she's not really a junkie character, but she will. she's not opposed to... Um, taking buff out and stuff like that, psycho or whatever, during battles and whatnot. Cool. Alright. Get me over there. I know, we're probably missing a lot of uranium fever, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. So my first day back on Fallout 76, not to mention streaming, so I'm not too worried. Forgot to turn on my smoke machine though. No, we must have the aesthetic going on. We gotta have the creepy camp aesthetic. This too, my radio. Okay. There's that. The whole reason I was being weighed down a ton was those uh, lovely steel bundles there. And oil spill. Oh, somebody dropped some stuff. Spoiled biofluid, I don't want that. Um, let me see here. I don't think, well, I do have to sell those, but I don't know. I think I'll sell them off stream when I can. I might just, you know, put a random price on it and then regret it later. Be like, oh, that was worth so much more. So I don't want to sell the wrong thing right now. So let me just drop this quad shotgun that we got. So that's pretty nice. Um, Plastic that one I do use. That keeps on giving. Leave the vampire board for a bit too, and even this one. All right, good. Ooh, what enough? You and I stick together like excess. <laughs> All right, let's fly over to uranium. <laughs> there might be, I don't know, there might be one or two enemies that we can still fight against. Not sure though. Oh yeah. Detecting oh, okay, there it is. I was like, where is Remove my other legacy weapon? From the premises. <laughs> we all show up late. I see this other, this person on my team right here, we all showed up late. Out of the way, everyone. I need a shot or two in. Okay. I'll get the guy in the back. Ooh. He's dead. Adequate uranium volume extracted and processed. Output quantity Ooh, is power finished. torso. Legendary power armor torso. It's the first time I got one of those. I don't think I like it though. Now the stars weren't, weren't exactly what I want.
Well, we got one of the legendaries. Uh, usually during this event there is... Or there are, I should say, three. Three almost guaranteed legendaries that pop out. Or I think it is guaranteed. But it's just not guaranteed what level stars they're gonna be. If you're doing really well, they should all be three star. Um, but if you let those extractors get destroyed a few times, sadly the Detecting legendaries go down. Management personnel. Their star level Remove goes down. This individual from the premises. Adequate uranium volume extracted and not processed. Here. Output quantity increased. I don't think it was in that spot that it was before. Wait, where's he at? No, I think someone's gonna kill him. Alright, I got some shots in. Woo! Thank you. Oh, another raider power armor. Nice. I'm not using my legacy weapon right now. I remember when I was streaming some Fallout 76, um, I still remember a person coming in being like, Oh, you can't use your legacy weapons in this game. Shame on you. They got like so mad that I was using my uh, explosive laser. I was like, oh, calm down. <laughs> and I banned them. I was like, oh, you know what? It was only me at Radiation Rumble. There was literally no one else, so of course I was using my legacy weapon. If not, those, uh, those people I was supposed to protect, they would have died even sooner. Alright, so this is pretty much the end of the event. Um, once you have all this uranium extracted, it's pretty much over. Pretty much over. Extraction yep. complete. Now it's Extractors officially over. Must complete cleaning and ventilation process before continuing operation. Please vacate. Cool. I'm still gonna try to collect some of the stuff on the floor. I am a big time scrap hoarder. So I don't mind staying after an event and picking up all the scrap. Sorry. Almost bumped into that person right there. Any more junk? 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 Anyone see any more junk? Oh, sorry. Oh, you know what? I wasn't playing this game for 4th of July, otherwise I should have gotten... I think I saw somebody with like a red, white, and blue suit or outfit. <laughs> I should have worn that. Oh! Lost connection to the chat tablet. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, I should be live for a couple more minutes, you guys. I'll probably get off at about 5 p.m. Uh, right now it is 4.48. I do want to say thank you, Scapies, for being here. Thank you for being so kind. Um, I appreciate it, you guys. This is a good first stream back. Just a short stream. Tomorrow I might be streaming, but I have a uh, doctor's appointment that I have to go to, so hopefully you wish me well on that. Um, hopefully I will be live, I don't know, maybe later in the day or so. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. I mean, that dude are like staring at each other for a bit. Wow. Alright. In there, yes, like I actually had a lot. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the scrapper card. Which is in the is it in no no, it's an intelligence actually. It's not an agility. Um, what did I have before? I had Thru Hiker. Alright, let's get rid of portable power just for a little bit. We'll do some scrap right here. Yeah, I might go swimming today. That's why I might uh, jump off in a few minutes. Escapees. Uh, over here, family swim is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, I got a focus Gatling laser. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, maybe I should have kept that and done some legendary crafting on it, huh? Darn. Next time I find a handmaid or some cool weapon, I'll keep it and I'll do a little experimenting on it. See what we can get. Um. Well, I'll drink some water. Alright, and then put my power armor card back on. Portable power. And then... Yes, no longer over-encumbered. Thank goodness. Oh, we can go shopping at our other teammates' houses too before we leave. But yeah, there's still a lot. This is my first day on the new season, so there's still a lot for me to learn. Um, I am excited. I'm kind of cool, or I'm glad that we're back. I'm cool with um, being back to Fallout 76 as a game to stream. <laughs> Shower. <laughs> Somebody is exploring my camp, which is funny. Thinking about you. Oh, you were? Hey, do you got a job for me, uh, Commander? There's something potentially she interesting does. coming up on the scan. I could do a little job for her. All right, what is it? Oh, you're the best. And not just because we're in an apocalyptic wilderness and my options are heavily limited. Mm. I actually mean it. I did end up doing the romance option for uh, Commander Daguerre. Right okay, so what did she That's want me to do? Body. She wanted me to go and get something. All right, where is this? Oops. Oh, right bumper to show on map. I know, I was trying to... <laughs> it's different in Skyrim, okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. Going over to White Spring Lookout. Okay. That's a hop and a skip across town. Oh, yes, that's right. I had some uh, rad stack that I gotta cook. True. True. Hopefully it's not rotted away. It probably is. I gave my character a haircut recently. <laughs> no. Okay, yes, we still got some rad stag meat. Seven at least. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's go ahead and cook as much as we can though. Alright, these I like to do individually. I don't know, I feel like it gives it a better chance of duplicating with the super duper perk but I don't know that for sure, so the rest of the food we'll go ahead and cook in groups if we have groups of it. Cool. Alright. My character does have the meat eater perk, so um, sadly eating vegetables doesn't really help her out anymore. But that's okay because she gets double the benefits of eating. All right, looks good. Now with some of those grilled rad stags, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I just can't shake these nightmares. A lot of these foods are gonna go bad pretty soon. Just why? Good thing that we're eating then. But yeah, off stream. Hopefully a little bit later, I'll log on. I'll try to fix my uh, character's inventory here and whatnot. We could jump on and play my other character too. I'd be down to do that. But I don't think. Well, we got like 15 minutes. I would sh I'd be down though to show you guys my new character. She's pretty cool. She is a bloody build, uh, so that playthrough definitely has a lot more dying and stuff. But still, still a fun play. Okay, so any of my teammates, do they have any weapons or anything for sale? Somebody named Sad Cat is trying to go through the. I don't know if they're trying to drop the nuke themselves or what's going on there. Well, I mean, hmm. I don't know, okay. I kinda want, well, let's just go do Commander Daguerre's thing. I kinda wanted to drop a nuke, but I don't have enough time, you guys. I know, if I were to go and try to do that, it'd be at least like 15 or so minutes. I'd say we just peace out and uh, see what else we can do. Okay, I'm gonna go bother my 
lovely neighbor over here. Y'all haven't met my neighbor. You're about to meet him pretty soon. Uh, neighbor is a behemoth and he just lives in this toxic swamp area by himself. I'm so sad. I go and harass them whenever I have time. I go and bother him. I also go to him when I need to test out new weapons. And then sometimes I'm disappointed because those new weapons aren't as good as my old ones. And I'm like, no. Oh. oh, I thought I was going to hit my face on that rock. We're good. All right, here he is. He's only at level 60 today. I've only seen him uh, spawn as a legendary one time, sadly. Just once. And it blew my mind because I was like, oh man. But here's my other legacy weapon. <laughs> Uh, the one that I had before Kami God uh, gave me that sick Gatling Plasma. But yeah, the, this rifle made short work of him. Or her! Depending on what gender this behemoth decides to identify as. Could be her, that's true. Thank you for being here, Lurkers. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, let me drop some soul gems in chat. It was a good stream back. Oh crap, I forgot to add how many uh, points to give. <laughs> no, zero gems, escapee. Zero gems for y'all. I'll give out 20. I'm feeling, I'm feeling stingy today. No. <laughs> There hasn't been too many victories today, so we'll keep the gems low. Speaking of low, volume of my headset is getting a little bit funny. Um, I've been having issues. I've been having issues for a while with this left ear, and now it's kind of doing that thing where it goes in and out again. <laughs> it was doing well for a bit. Dang it. That's okay. I've had these headphones for, I want to say at least three years. About three years. So if they're due for a replacing. I understand, sadly. <laughs> Not happy about it, but they need to be replaced, then they need to be replaced. Did you guys do anything fun for 4th of July? Uh, I went over to the Yakima County Fairgrounds and it was completely free, free admission, free parking, uh, just free to get in and stuff. And they had a carnival, they had fair food, they had a fireworks show at 10 p.m. And I was very, very happy that I went. I was having some, you know, weird issues around that time because it was like last week or so. But other than that, you know, getting out of the house and stuff was really before that, I hadn't gotten out of the house in a while. Having a little bit of audio issues real quick. Darn it. Sometimes... Okay, there we go. Yay! Sometimes tapping on it will fix it. Sometimes it doesn't, but it fixed it there. Good, good. I probably won't... Um, <laughs> <laughs> replace these headphones until gosh like way way later I'll probably still be struggling with them for another three years Shh. but no I had a lot of fun on 4th of July um, my favorite thing honestly I went for the food like the fireworks and stuff that show it was cool and all that but I was really there for the food and so I had a lot I had corn dogs um, a bit of a turkey leg what else? We had the fried Snickers. I actually had two fried Snickers. I know. But I was there for the food, for sure. <laughs> Quarantine and all that. In 2020, there was no fair or anything. So, um, it had been at least two years since, you know, I had gone down that way. I was like, yeah, let's make the best of it, huh? Well, I hope you guys had something fun to do on 4th of July as well. Um, since then, I've been outside, been barbecuing, barbecuing a lot of escapees. There's not much to do around here. 
I live in the countryside of Washington State. And so, um, you know, there's places to go and visit and stuff, but, uh, you know, I just hadn't gotten around to doing that. So mostly what I've been doing is just grilling food and not like fancy grilling either. It's just like seasoning and burning things on edges <laughs> until it tastes good. Until it's no longer pink or raw. All right, I'll call it good, escapees. Well, that was our first little short stream in quite a while. Um, I hope you had a good day, escapees. I'm gonna call it. I might go swimming. That's why I'm leaving. I'm also hungry, so we shall see what is up, IRL. Um, thank you for being here, escapees. Have a good rest of your day. I will see you next time, my friends. And as always, ever onward, ever forward. Catch you next time on Soul Stream. Bye, guys. Peace. <laughs>